I'm Gamer Consultant and welcome to another Game Discovery. After covering Park Beyond last week, today we're looking at Station to Station. Again, this is a free demo, completely available on Steam for everybody. I will put in the video description below the link if you want to download it. It is not a huge demo, you know, you can count on half an hour to an hour of gameplay, but it really shows a game with a lot of potential. I know you may be thinking what are those voxel graphics, but I can assure you the graphic style actually works really well in the game. And by the way, I'm actually loving the fact that demos are coming back. You don't have to pay to get a super early access version of a game. You can try a demo before getting more into a full price, for example. I haven't seen an official release date for this game yet, but it does say 2023. So hopefully we can expect it quite soon. And while again the demo is quite short, I didn't see any bugs or things like this. So hopefully we can really get a good experience soon. But this demo has three levels that are going to show us a lot of the basic mechanics and also a few challenges. But of course it's not going to show all of the gameplay. If you have any questions, comments, don't hesitate to put in the comments below. But let's dive right in. So basically this is a bit of an empire building game, a bit of a puzzle game. You're gonna need to connect resources. For example, over here we have a mill. A mill requires some wheat, right? And here we have a wheat farm. That's perfect. So we want to connect both of these, right? We're going to connect them with two stations. So one station over here, an Asian station over there. We're going to connect those two stations through a railway, right? Like this. And as you can see, it costs $66. So everything you do in the game will cost you some money. You know, the longer, for example, the rail is the higher it's gonna cost. If we start doing some bridges, it's gonna cost a lot more. So basically, you're gonna want to be efficient to spend as little money as possible. But now we're connecting, you know, this with a freight train, a normal freight train that's going to appear. By the way, you can go pretty cool, uh, close. And you can also see that when you connect different buildings, then the map becomes a lot more colorful. So this is really cool. Now we can see the small check marks we have distributed our wheat to our mill, right? And now with this, we've unlocked new buildings. We have again a wheat farm and a mill because each of them can only transport to one. And it is another connection. This is becoming colorful, love it. And we unlock again a few more buildings. Don't worry, that's gonna get a lot more complex very soon. Now the first difficulty is the terrain, right? We have a mountain over here. Obviously, I don't want to build a super expensive bridge. Instead, I'm gonna go around, right? So we're gonna go around like this. Continue trying again to make it as short as possible. It doesn't cost too much money. And then we connect it, perfect. Now we have a new production, the cheesery. Basically to make cheese out of milk. We have over here a dairy farm producing two milks. So that's great. We're gonna be able then to connect this one over there. Then we can connect this one there. And then this one somewhere like this. And what's really cool is that your train can go through station. It's not like I have to connect this one to that one and this one to this one. I can do something a bit more like this. I'm going to connect this one there. All right. And then we're going to connect this one inside. And it's going to right away connect to both of them at the same time. Which, by the way, will also give me a bonus. And we can see the train going different train and now again you know i have this cheesery over here that wants the milk all the way there right i could build a huge bridge in the middle but what i can also do is use the rails that i've already built right so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna connect this one over there so now my cheesery is connected to this network right that goes all the way here and so now i can continue the network starting from there to go all the way over here. This is going to connect the first cheesery. And then we have the second that is over here, which we want to connect to, to it. And in this case, I don't know if I was able to connect both at the same time, but that's fine. We have completed the first level. Obviously, as I said, this is really basic. This is mission one. But let me show you in mission two and three, we're gonna get into a lot more interesting things. If you manage to get more money in the bank at the end of this mission, don't hesitate to put it in the video description below. I'd love to hear. So now we do want to connect again all of our buildings, but we also have two bonus challenges. The first one is that we want to end with at least 200 in the bank, and we want to also use cards. What are cards, you ask? Well, this is what you can see over here. From time to time, you will get cards that will give you some bonuses. So for example, this one is a cheap rails. 
then if I use it, it's going to half the price of the rails that I was trying to build at that point. Let me show you in action what that means. We have a new map, right? We have over here dairy farm and once again, cheesery and cheesery. Okay, so we're gonna want to connect both of them again. So something probably like this. I mean, looking at this, we're talking about $95. Now, if I click on the card, we're talking about 48 now. So that's a lot better. Over here at the bottom, you can see a progress bar. To reach the next level, I need to earn $140, for example, and with each level, you can gain some bonuses. You can gain, for example, new buildings to unlock, but also sometimes some new cards. So with this, we have a new cards, and this time it's not about cheap rails, but cheap bridge. So that's great. Okay, and now we have a new building, which is the bakery. It's gonna take the flour from the meal, right, to make them bread. So how are we going to connect all of this? So again, you know, you don't have to connect in order. The way we're going to do it is a bit more like this, where I'm going to connect the bakery to the farm and nothing happens there. I mean, it costs me money, but nothing else. But then what I'm going to do is use two of my cards to do this one. And it's going to connect, you know, everything to the meal. So the wheat is going to go to the meal, but then also the flour is going to go to the bakery. So again, I'm going to get a bonus and by using my cards, it's going to cost a lot less. We have a nice bridge over here. And now we have our first city. To be able to grow this city, because right now it's a, there's only one person living in this city, right? It's not great. To grow it, we're going to be able to give it some different resources. For example, bread, milk, and cheese. So first of all, I want to connect this one over here. Then I want to connect this one over there. So, so far, I haven't earned any money, basically. But now what I'm going to do is we're going to connect the whole thing to the city. And here I should make a lot of money because we're going to connect everything at once, right? We're connecting the cheese, the milk from there and the bread from there all at once to the city. The more resource we connect at the same time, the more money we're going to make. They actually don't show it in this mission. It's part of the next mission, but I can guarantee you I'm making a lot of money now. Okay, so a few more cards. And a few more buildings. Let's see what is required. A new city there. A few new resources. And by the way, if you missed it, I mean, the city definitely has grown now, right? We're size four and there's a lot more buildings. So let's see. We have the bread over here. We have the meal and the wheat. All this to connect to the farm if possible, right? Okay, so I've placed the four station. Now let's think for a second. What I want to do first is to connect the bread to the wheat. It is quite a long one, so we're gonna do cheap rail. And this is not going to give me anything. And similarly, I'm going to connect the mill to the city. This is also not going to give me anything. And actually, I'm not even making any bridge right now. I made a big mistake over here. I was supposed to connect this rail to that one, because now I want to connect over here. So that's not so easy. So we're going to have to go around, which will cost me a lot more money. But it is possible. It's not the end of the world. At 100 in terms of rail, that's not great. But anyway, as I said, now with this, we're going to connect two new resources, right? We're connecting the cheese and we're connecting the milk to it. So that is a great one. By the way, if you press tab, you can see all of the resources that aren't connected yet to anything. And now we just need to do one last thing, which is to connect this one over here. And as you can see in blue, everything will be connected at once, which should get us tons of money. We still have one card, so that means we're not actually going to get this challenge this time. Sorry about that, uh, but basically I should have just built a bridge for no reason. But we definitely got this bonus over here, as you can see. We needed to have only 200 in the bank. We have more than 600, so all good. Yeah, I just forgot about using that card. Sorry about that. And now with this, we move into the third and final mission in the demo. As I said, this is a bit of a short demo, but it really shows the potential of this game. We're going to want to do a couple of things, in particular what I've been showing in the last mission, trying to connect multiple resources at once. We're going to want to do that but also we want 850 in the bank. Let's dive right in. So indeed, in this mission now, we really want to play with the stack bonuses, which is when you connect multiple buildings at once that are producing resources. 
for example, you know, making food and sending it to your city. But at the same time, we're going to get more money. So let me show you. For example, in this case over here, we have the wheat farm and the bakery next to each other. We have the mill over here and the city there. If I connect these two over here, basically I'm going to start making bread. But I won't be sending the bread anywhere. But if I connect first the mill to the city and then the mill to this, we're going to create at the same time the bread and sending to the city. So we're going to get more money. I can also do it the other way around where I'm connecting over here the city to this and now I'm going to connect the meal to all of this and then we see three resources at once right we're also going to use this heavy freight train which is going to make us even more money here it is you can see the train is bigger and bigger is always better now we have the cheesery and the milk and once again we want to connect both of these directly to the city so first I'm connected the cheesery to the city and now we're going to connect you know the milk to the city and all three at once will also be provided. With a nice bonus. And we have a new city and we have access to the cheese over here and the dairy. In this case, I'm also going to use two cards because it's a bit further. And again, a nice bonus. 210 plus 25 percent nice so with this we still have a lot of money we have new cards the bakery and the wheat farms are over there and the windmill is on the other side so again remember that you don't have to connect these two directly what we can do is connect this one over here and then connect this one over there and they will all be connected so small one so no cards then over here we're gonna use some cards i think we're gonna use bridge and rail to connect this one over there and it is three resources at once we can also use again the heavy freight train nice a lot of money and the map becomes greener love it new cards oh a lot of new cards and some buildings Okay, so we got a lot of new buildings at once and this is how we could get this special challenge of connecting four resources at once because we're gonna have for this new city over here right we can do a lot of things so let's put first all of the station and then i'll show you how to connect them okay so the way we need to do it is we need to make sure that we connect all of the buildings on two different tracks and then only at the end we're going to connect those two different tracks so for example we know that if we send milk to the cheesery it's gonna make cheese so these two need to be on two different lines, right? Similarly, we know that if we send the wheat to the mill, it's going to create flour. So those two needs to be on two different tracks so that they don't connect. So first, let's start with the city. We're going to connect the city just over here. It's a small one, so we don't need to use any cards. Then we're going to connect also the mill to that one. On the other hand, we need to make sure that the wheat is not connected to that one. So instead, it's going to be connected to this one. Similarly, the bakery, you need to make sure it's not connected to the flour. So it needs to stay on this one over here. So that works pretty well like this. Easy. Then the milk shouldn't be connected to that one and shouldn't be connected to the city. So again, that's an easy one and that's quite a long one. So we're going to use the cheap rail for this one to make sure it doesn't cost too much. Then this one needs to be connected to the city. I'm going to check. So this is 81. Versus if I use a cheap bridge over here, this will be 64. So it's better to use the bridge in this case. Go over here. Okay. And now we've basically connected everything except those two. You know, we have this line over here and then we have that line there, but they are not connected. We just need to connect them. I mean, I wish I would have another cheap road, but we have a cheap bridge that we don't really need. That's fine. And here it is. With this, we're going to connect all of them at once. We're going to use, obviously, a heavy freight train. I'd love if I could use two cards, but yeah, I only uh, can use one. That's fine. And here it is. That's going to be a big bonus. 420, ooh, 500, 789. Amazing. And now we have completed the level with 1,253. Huge bonus. And the two challenges right we have 1253 instead of 850 in the bank 
and we have connected four resources at once. It is, ladies and gentlemen, this is a short demo, as I said, but it really shows for me great potential. Similar to a few recent games like Dorf Romantic that you can see on the screen, it is a great sort of puzzle city builders, but at the same time also with a chiller vibe. You don't have the pressure of time, for example. Thank you all for watching. Don't hesitate to share in the comments below if you have any questions, thoughts about this game. Also sharing with the developers that may see it if you want to see more of it in the channel. Also, if there are other specific demos or games that you want to see on the channel, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Smash the like button and I hope to see you next time.